done. I've been mighty blessed by God. And I'm holding to his my God. The journey of our soul. And I'm a love you. But I have a feeling in my heart The best is You believe that The best is When I walk through it I can you will Say this is your fault I have a feeling in my heart. Yes, yes. My people, we are coming. Let's see the end to come. When I walk to heaven, came the first time I see Jesus. I said, He showed me to my mansion and said, This is your home. But I have a feeling in my heart. following your Bibles. Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. Honor your father and mother, which is the first commandment with a promise that it may be well with you and you may live a long life on earth. And you fathers, do not provoke your children to wrath, but bring them up in the training and the admonition of the Lord. One servant, be obedient to those who are your masters according to the flesh, with fear and trembling, in sincerity of heart as to Christ, not with eye service as men please us, but as one servants of Christ, doing the will of God from the heart, with goodwill, doing service to the Lord and not to men, knowing that whatever good anyone does, he will receive the same from the Lord, whether he is a slave or free. And you masters, do the same things to them, giving up threatening, knowing that your own master also in heaven, and there is no partiality in him. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness 
in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day and having done all to stand. Stand therefore, having girded your ways with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith with, with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. And take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is in the word of God. Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit. Being watchful to this end with perseverance and with supplication for all saints and for me. That utterance may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. For which I am ambassador in chains. That in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. This is the word of the Lord. Praise the Lord. For which I am an ambassador in bonds, that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. God is good, and all the time, God is a good God. We have two persons this morning to receive the right hand of fellowship. We have the in-gathering to come. And of course, we'll, we'll be hearing from the ministry of the choir. I'm going to take myself out of the way and hand over to our host, the pastor, our overseer, Bishop, Prophet, Reverend Mark Stelz. God bless you. Amen. Bless the Lord, everybody. Praise God. Praise God. We're going to invite Joseph and Ruth to come and spend a while. Joseph and Ruth. Amen. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> Amen. The Bible. Praise God. And we're excited to have this wonderful couple in our midst. They've been sojourning and journeying with us. And we're excited to receive them to add some fellowship and more added strength to break through Mandeville. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. I want to welcome you and believe that as you come, there's much to offer for the kingdom to help us build the body of Christ as we serve God until he appears. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and on the head of the church, we seek now the gift of the Holy Spirit in confirming and strengthening this brother and sister in the faith. In baptism, we are welcome into the family and household of God, raising new life in Christ nurtured in the Holy Spirit and in response to the call of Christ and the leading of the Holy Spirit, we now ask you to make your own profession of Christian faith and to accept responsibility and privilege of the membership of this church. The question is to you. Do you believe and trust in the one God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, maker of heaven and earth, redeemer of this world, and the giver of your life? Do you trusting in God's grace, repent of your sins, renounce evil, and turn your lives fully to Jesus Christ? And do you promise trusting in God's grace to be faithful in your public and private worship, to live in the fellowship of this church, and to share in its weakness? Do you promise by God's same grace to follow Christ, to seek to do, and to bear his will for all the days of your lives? And do you trust him in his mercy alone to bring you into the fullness of the life of the world that is to come. 
Let us pray. Almighty and everlasting God, by baptism you have delivered these, our brother and sister, from the domain of darkness and into the kingdom of your beloved Son, you whom your release is secure and our sins forgiven. Send your Holy Spirit upon them, spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel and power, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. By your Holy Spirit, confirm and strengthen, Lord, your servants, that the grace of all grace who have called uh, your servants to Christian service, confirm and strengthen, O Lord, with your heavenly Holy Spirit, and keep them faithful to Christ all their days. Defend, Lord, your servants with your heavenly grace, that they may continue to be yours forever, bearing in life the fruits of the Spirit, growing into the full statue of you, Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and in accordance with the decision of the church meeting, I declare you to be admitted to the full privilege and responsibility of membership of this one body of Christ, the Jamaica Restoration Breakthrough Prayer Healing and Deliverance Ministries, with membership here at the Mandeville location. In the name of Christ, we welcome you. May we grow together in unity and be built up into the body of Christ, the Lord Jesus, to the glory of God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, even now and forevermore. Amen. Praise God. Put your hands together as we welcome our brother and sister into the house of love. It's in the elders to come and extend the right hand of fellowship to our new amen. Praise God. We're excited to have them. We want to thank our missionary Jody for producing amen and turning over such great, great folks. They got married down here and uh, baptized and serving and they're part of our Bible study. They're out, they're here and we're happy to have them. Praise God. We're looking for others. Please invite to join. God bless you. Amen. Praise the Lord. At this time we're getting ready to worship God with our tithes and our offering for the work of the Lord. Amen. Prepare your tithes and offering. Amen. We trust that you have given your gathering to your various leaders. So please don't put your gathering uh, amount in the tithes box because it won't be getting counted with the, the, um, the amount for the different groups. So your tithes and offering is different from your gathering and we want to Make sure that your in gathering is registered with your groups. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. So everybody stand with your tithes and your offering for the work of the Lord at this time. Praise God. Let's get excited. It's given time. I want to see smiles on all the faces. And you're giving. All glory to God. Bless the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lift your offering, lift your seed, lift your tithes. Father, we thank you for the privilege of giving. Come on, everybody, rise and behave like you're excited to give. Praise God. Giving brings release. I say giving brings release. Hallelujah. Praise God. Father, we thank you for the giving of your people as we give to the work, to the work, to the work. We pray, God, that their hearts and lives will be richly blessed, empowered, and delivered in the name of Jesus. My Father, my Father, let there be greater manifestation and revelation as they release the seed, time, and offers in this kingdom here at Breakthrough. And we tell you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on in. Mm, oh, what singing? Oh, I shouted on that happy morning when we all shall rise. Oh, what glory! Hallelujah! When we meet our blessed Savior in the sky, 
Redemption coming, praise the Lord. I'm into God's freedom. Redemption coming, praise the Lord. Oh, redemption. Praise the Lord. What a wonderful freedom. Glory to his name. I'm out of the bondage. I'm into God's freedom. Freedom shall come in. Praise. For oh, redemption. Praise. My God, what a wonderful I'm into God's freedom Freedom shall come in Oh, redemption What a wonderful I'm into God's freedom, redemption coming, praise the Lord. Father, we give you praise and glory. We thank you for the gift. We thank you for the receiver. Even so, now we pray mighty blessings upon your people. Lord, we pray for tremendous results. We pray for incredible results. Pray, God, that you will bless beyond measure, press down, shaking together, and running over. We thank you and we glorify you now in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. All right, today is a special day. You excited to be here? Hallelujah. Praise God is in gathering day, it's fellowship day. Amen. Food is cooking. Amen. 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 Say amen to that. Amen. Oh, Jesus. Amen. And gathering is heating up. Is it the young people? Is it the women's ministry? Is it the men's ministry? Who will take it? You don't know. Let me go again. Is it the women's ministry? Yes. Yeah, not sure. Is it the women's ministry? Yes. I don't know that one song. Is it the man there? Yes. Not sure. Is it the young people and children there? Yes. I don't know. Somebody will, will take it on. But before we get there, myself and our leaders, our new team of leaders they're very nice and kind we had a discussion we thought it would be prudent today as we do our in gathering to appreciate some of our members who are always present but not just present but helping and serving in the ministry here in mandeville and so we're going to invite our group leaders to come and they have selected persons within the different auxiliaries that we saw fit to appreciate for ongoing commitment and dedication to the different departments and for and to the general church. Amen. So it's not how long you're there. It's how much you're serving and helping to 
make the ministry happen. I know and some people say, but me there a long time or me not get none. Are you there a long time where you probably not do nothing? <laughs> Amen. 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 So you have to be an active member. Active member. And those are the ones we want to recognize at this time. I'm going to invite leaders to come, please, quick and fast, as we get this on the way. I hope you did come to spend a little time. So we did decide we're going to spend a little time. That's why we're providing refreshment. But we won't be long after. So we don't want to have two sessions or two services. So we're just doing everything. Okay? So by the time we finish, we eat fellowship and go. Because we know you all love to go fast and quick. So we want to keep you a little time. All right. So we have, let's start with the Sunday school department. Missionary Walker. Please come at this time. Good morning, church. We have a few presentations here. I'm going to ask these people from the Sunday school to come. Sister Shani Walker, Brother Jaden Robinson, Alexandra James, Cabrina Smith, and Sister Kelsey Ann Fuller. Roshni Francis. We have the young adults, missionary. We have Sister Tamara. Sister Mani. And Sister Dana. Brother Paul Mills, going to ask Brother Melbourne Paul Mills. I'm thinking his wife wants to do the honors. Brother Hickey. Oh, 
Also for our myth, just hold on with that icky. Our multifunction men, they are getting something multifunction just to show our appreciation thing. Product Garden, make yourself available. Brother Anthony Gordon, make yourself Brother Walters. Brother Harvey. Brother Devin Richardson. Brother Elroy Powell. Eloy Powell. Brother Godfrey Marson. Brother Steve Walker. Come on, please appreciate the men. Please, do, please, please, please appreciate them. Brother Dennis Coleman is not here, but I think his wife can take it on Tuesday off. Finally, but not least, Brother Jeffrey Pommels. Kitchen. His wife cannot accept on his behalf. Put your hands together, church, once more for the, the men of breakthrough. Truly, they are doing an awesome job. We're heading on now to Joshua Generation. We we're going to ask the president to make herself available for the handing out. We're going to ask Sister Trudy and Dixon. <laughs> Brother Steve Walker Jr. Keep the applaud going, church. Sister Chantel Brown. These are the future leaders. Sister Shanae Walker. Sister Rihanna Edwards. Sister John of Banner. Sister Janelia Stewart. Brother Jabari King. Once more, thank you, Sister Asia. These are the Joshua generation. Bishop, I'm going to ask you to continue standing. Because, church, these are special. These young men, without them, it is obvious that they are not here. We're going to ask the musicians to make themselves right to the podium at this time. We're calling on the musicians, Brother Kevon Stewart and Brother Gregory Morrison. They deserve a big round of applause, my case. You don't want to leave me. They did the 
inside the family. <laughs> We have some general presentation, some persons who have helped over the years and their service has not gone unnoticed. Sister Elaine Lindsay, we're going to ask you, Sister Elaine Lindsay, long-standing member, she's always with us. Some persons who have worked hard over the years. Sister Elaine Lindsay. And we have this gentleman, we can call his name anytime and he showed up. Brother Altman Hickey, for help. Brother Hickey is always here cleaning up the prayer meeting. I hear Brother Hickey pray for a wife, you know. <laughs> These persons, we can call upon them all the time. Sister Erica Wallace. Sister Erica is not here with us, but we acknowledge her commitment and her contribution. We're gonna ask Sister Patrice Palmer to come and accept this. These are the persons who have played their part well. We have Sister Shirley White. We are acknowledging our founding members as well, those persons who have been here all through and through. Sister Weida Pommels. She says she transferred her membership. Sister Weida Pommels. Keep the applause going, church. Keep the applause going. Manager Bretu, we could not have a presentation without asking our elder, our senior, our mother, our everything to come and accept this on behalf of the entire church. Elder Sister Lovely Powell. If your eye pink, she tell you to rub it out and make it white. We appreciate you lots. Sister Nav, Auntie Nav, Elder Nav, we love you dearly. Over the years, you have been with us, and may I sleep on the bed on Sunday morning time? This is Sister Lovely Powell from David Corner. <laughs> Sister Natalie Grant, 
This award is for you for your commitment and contribution towards the ministry all the way through and through. We not sleep on bed a Sunday morning time. I know this sister not sleep on fear, baby. Sister Millicent Anderson. She has been with us all these years. Sister Millicent Anderson. Sister Millie, she has said, I will make a meal. We have as well Sister Lorraine Barrett. And we have now Sister Ivy Johnson. Sister Ivy Johnson. Amen. Sister Elaine Lindsay, make yourself to the podium as well. All right, put your hands together for the for the ladies. Mandeville. She's not here. I am going to read what's on this plaque for the leaders. Amen. Come sit down there. You can't read for me. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm excited for the group of leaders that are helping to steer Mandible breakthrough. And you must appreciate that since we have made the changes and adjustment, we have, as a matter of fact, I want to say I've heard the cries from the time we did the assessment and we did the reshuffling and we did the changing. As a leader, sometimes you have to take the bull by the horn and make conscious changes for the better of going forward. Amen? And I remember when we had the discussions and the, the comments and the, the writings and everything, I decided that I need to stay put, but I must got, get in place some persons who carry the vision and the dream and also shares the passion to lead this church. And I'm excited about our leaders and to God be the glory, we're going forward and we're seeing better days. Would you agree with me? And I want us to continue to work with these wonderful leaders for the season that we're in to usher a greater time of fellowship here at Breakthrough. I want to appreciate our youth leader, Sister Ashai Ben. Asha, sorry. Aisha, I should have said Aisha.
Amen. 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 I'm going to invite my bishop so we can see him fully at this point. Jamaica Restoration Breakthrough PhD Ministries Mandeville Branch presents to Prophet Reverend Dr. Mark Stewart we appreciate you we love you we acknowledge you as being our overseer church Mandeville this is a presentation Jump to your feet and let us acknowledge and show our bishop our love and our appreciation. With appreciation for your ministry, what we pray for you, guidance for the path your feet will daily follow. Somebody say wisdom for the counsel you are asked to give compassion for those you are called upon to help. What we wish for you is strength, to stand for what is true and right, even when there is opposition. Somebody said courage, to press on even when things seem routine. Perseverance, to follow the desires of God has place in your heart, even when you have doubts. What we give to you now, our bishop, is our support and our appreciation. Thank you from all. I'm gonna ask the leaders to join me. All right, put your hands together for everybody. Just want to know we appreciate everyone and we want to continue to fellowship and grow in fellowship and those who are zealous of what has happened you know what you got to do work a little harder and come on in and let's do this together amen amen at this time the choir will minister and then we're going to have our gathering and the word and then we're up Let us worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God is awesome. I want you to worship God with us, okay? Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Come on, let's worship the Lord. God 
God with us, God with us, and the God who is in us.
Worship the Lord. Are you still in church? You're not excited yet? Amen. Praise God. All right, that moment, we're having a great time. Are you enjoying service? We appreciate we're giving, we're receiving. Amen. And now we're going to be presenting. I want to invite the group's leaders to come and make their presentation of their amount. And let's see who takes it home on In Gathering 2023. I want to appreciate the fact that as a church, we're growing you in giving to enhance the church and not begging. Because we want the people who come to the church to be blessed. You're not saying anything. And if the church people got to go out and beg the world, it's not good. We have to gather what God has blessed us with so that we can be blessed in the house. He says, bring what you have in the house that I may bless you out of the house. Some of you ain't saying nothing because you don't believe it because you don't do it. A lot of you believe the church must be run on me. And I must bring everything and you think I'm all rich and have it. So you must just come to enjoy it. Sir, can you please take off that phone? We don't allow that in the church like that. Amen. Sorry about that. Yeah. Amen. So as we appreciate your contributions to ensure that the church continue to meet its requests and requirements, we wanted to see it as a privilege. Is it an opportunity for you to bless this great breakthrough ministry? Amen? I'm not a prisoner, never been to prison. I'm the only prisoner I am is a servant of God. You see, all over social media, they're declaring that I've been to prison for 10 to 15 years. <laughs> I'm wondering is which marks you what they're talking about. It must be another one. Amen? But I know they will come at me, and I told you all the time, they will be coming high, and I expect a lot more. But I trust that you who are with me in the day of judgment, you won't run like the disciples and leave me one on the cross. Hello? Hello? And I don't like all the amen song. Sound like, like I mean, like Jesus. I might have to get a stranger to carry me cross. Because my dear appreciative members will be icon. But let me tell you, it's not an easy road going forward. And if you notice the shift, anyone who rise to stand and declare anything in this country now is in trouble of being taken down. 
If they can't pay you to keep you quiet, they're taking you out. And it's a sad state of what we're going through. Are we ready? Who has the mic? Let's go. The winning team, the young people. Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Joshua Generation Group, the young adults and the children, we come together and we have in total 388989 uh, on behalf of the men's department, as you know, we're not very big in number. We're few in numbers. We're still looking for some men out there, but to God be the glory. Um, with togetherness and hard work, we managed to come up with $455,000. Yeah. So $455,000. Men's ministry. Awesome. Let's hear the big group. All right, so I'm going to do this presentation before it even starts. We want to say thank you to our sister church in Portmore. Whoa! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Sister church. Towards our, they sent us their best wishes, and towards our in gathering, Portmore has contributed a whopping. $50,000. All right. Good just to put more. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Now for the ladies. I'm going to ask the ladies to stand with me. Yes, sir. Big group. Millions. The ladies has contributed three hundred and three thousand two hundred and fifty dollars ah. put your hands so we together say congratulations to the men's ministry of breakthrough man with you make some noise for the monday the littlest group the talawa group yeah i know a man them really yeah yeah that's it man. And if they did beat up, man, they would hear that year. <laughs> so all the men of Breakthrough come forward. Where the, where the man them there? Come on, stand up and appreciate the men's ministry. Our in gathering winners for 2023. All the man there up and running. Come in, men. Come in, men. We got to. Where my name there? Come here, man. Where the man there? Where the real matcha? Come on, put your hands together and clap there. All of them on them. All right. I'm excited for the man. Come here, man, too. Mantu. <laughs> All right, so we say congratulations to the men's ministry, the winner of the wonderful experience here today. Rest of them there. Run in, the man. Come in, brother P. Run in, Sheffy. Can't afford to Sheffy there, now. CB Pan Chicken, Sheffy. <laughs> Amen. Yes, I. Josie. Yeah. And the man never win anything. Yeah. Make some noise for men's ministry in gathering. Amen. That means we have done over a million, a million Jamaican 
dollars. Put your hands together for yourselves. God bless you for our in gathering 2023. God is good. You see, we can do it by ourselves. Amen. With ourselves, if God is in it, there is no limit. Praise God. I'm going to thank our leaders and our team members everyone, for making it. I'm teaching you as a leader not to be a beggar. Hello? And I heard you all say in your comments when you were, when we were doing our assessment that some people out there are like me. And when you go to beg, once my name called, it's problem. So we're going to show the world that the church is alive. And if we believe in your leader and believe in the vision and the plan of ministry in this church, we can do it. Amen, somebody. Jesus did it. The disciples did it. Amen. The Bible said in Acts, Amen, chapter 2, down 43, down. It says, they believe in the apostles' teaching. The breaking of bread, laying of hands, and the word. And the Bible said they were in awe of the signs and wonders and the miracles. Last week, some of you didn't come to church. There was miracles. There was healing and deliverance. And some people said when they're watching it, they wish they're sorry they didn't come to church. But um, it says they gave as everyone had need. They sold their possession and goods and take it to the church and give to Peter and those guys. And the Bible said the church grew rapidly out of their giving and supporting of the work of God. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. So do not refuse to contribute out of the blessing that God has given you to the development and the moving of the church. Don't follow them people. Everybody, I don't know, with every other pre preacher, it's okay for them to love money. It's okay for Cyrus and the Obia man them and the politician them and everybody. But once is Mark Stewart. It seems to be a problem. Everybody else can sell stuff and nobody no trouble them. But as soon as Mark Stewart name comes, is a problem. But then they don't realize I'm doing more than all of them put together. I'm reaching more people globally, locally, touching more lives. And it costs money. It costs money to make it happen. You're not with me. Being on radio. Oh, I was saying to somebody who was saying to me, boy, really Jamaican people don't know you. If everybody commenting and agreeing that you are in prison, but sure they don't know you because for so many years I'm on radio and TV, look like we did in a prison then time there. <laughs> Do you know how many years we're touching live, how much we are spending per month to save people who come here on Monday ready to commit suicide, came to Mandible to buy the rope. And the Lord returned to detour them from the shop, the rope shop, and send them to break through. Go down to Mark's church, put the offering, and God deliver. Do you know how many of these persons, lives we have touched and saved? Amen, somebody. We have a track record. Amen. Do you know how many persons have come to Mandeville to run me out? And we're still here fully established. It is a testament to the church that you're in right now to the fact that God has established breakthrough in Mandeville. Because when this place was up for sale, I'm the one who got the call to beat the Chinese to it. Do you know why? Because God had it set and ready. After we were searching for land and building, and we were refused the opportunity for the one we were in. God ready made a place for breakthrough. You know what that means? It's a testament to God saying, I will establish this ministry. Hallelujah. Come on, give us some more in the main box if possible. Let's jump into the word before you all leave me here. Glory to God. 
The reading was read from Ephesians chapter 6. I want to do a little more teaching and preaching here. Because nowadays people love jump and carry on and miss the word. Amen. Praise the Lord. And I want to declare today. I want to declare to somebody. About 10 of you. Because not everybody believe it. That after the battle. You will still be standing firm. You don't, you don't want it. You don't want it. You don't want it. I said after the battle. We will still be standing firm. Uh, if I was like you and you receive it, I will jump up and give God a praise. It's a declaration and it's a faith belief. We will fight the battle. But after the battle, we will still be standing firm. Everybody lift your hand and say, I am armed for spiritual warfare. I wonder if some of you have left breakthrough and accounted what they might do to me. I wonder if some of you have left your teaching and leave your word preaching. I'm going to join some little fly the night out there. I said, I am a warrior. I've been a warrior, not a prisoner. And I am armed, Jesus Christ, for spiritual warfare. And after the battle, the steel be standing firm. God bless you. And that alone, I can close the service. Every day you live, you will battle the world. We're, we're fighting against literally the world. We're fighting against the flesh and we're fighting against the devil. Huh? In order to be armed for spiritual warfare, Paul gives us six specific pieces of spiritual armor. Here uh, are the first three. Number one, the belt of truth, the sturdy belt of truth. Somebody said truth. Hallelujah. When you got truth, who can beat you? During World War II, a plane flew many miles past its distance. Why? Because the crew, not realizing there were such strong tailwind, refused to believe the cockpit instruction. As a result, everyone on board perished. Yet when the plane was found years later, the instruments were still in perfect working order. So everyone perished, but the instrument that was directing them was still in awe. Somebody touched your neighbor and said, follow the instrument. You can depend on God's word uh, to guide you in the right direction. Read it daily and believe it's no, ma it's no matter what your mind or emotion tell you. We got to get out of our emotion and get out of our own mindset as people of God and begin to stand on the word of God. In the church, there's a lot of feelings. There's a lot of emotions. Oh, Jesus. Emotions and feelings ride the high in the setting of the church. Amen, somebody. And then I said nothing. And it's time to stand on God's word and live by the word and not by our feelings and emotion. And therefore, if we're going to do that, we must cement ourselves in what is the truth. Hallelujah. 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 The belt of truth must be buckled around your waist so your spiritual skirt and your spiritual pants not your Come on, praise God, man. 
Because some people are getting naked and then spiritually close and drop off. Somebody touch your neighbor and say, Buckle up. Praise God. Praise God. Number two, the body armor of God's righteousness. No, it is God's righteousness, not yours. Uh, we can't be self righteous. We have to depend on the righteousness of God in order for us to become righteous. So we are not righteous in ourselves, we are righteous in God. Jesus Christ. Somebody praise God here. Somebody praise God. Uh, it's not your righteousness. It's God. You're not saved by trusting your own per, uh, performance, but by trusting Christ's performance on the cross. When you know that, God's righteousness becomes uh, the breastplate that protects your heart from doubt about your salvation. Everybody lift their hand and say, I don't doubt my salvation. I know who I am and I know who I'm for. And I know God paid it on the cross uh, and he lived right so I can be right. Uh, he died right so I can live right. Uh, somebody say, thank you, Jesus for the cross give him some praise give him some praise oh so we got the breastplate of righteousness in our heart and we don't doubt nothing when it comes on to the living God we're not living in doubt and fear we're living in faith in believing praise God that God is our salvation somebody praise God He's our refuge and strength. He's our keeper and our guide and our provider and our deliverer. I don't know about you, but despite what the enemy is coming with, I'm confident in my salvation. I'm confident that I'm no longer a slave to fear, but I am a child of the living God. Somebody praise him up in here. I know who God says I am. Somebody praise God. Give him praise. Number three. Uh, for the shoes. Put on peace. Ephesians 6.15 Shoes indicate you're going somewhere. Everybody lift your hand and say I'm going somewhere. Now, I don't know about you, but uh, this world is not my home. I'm just a passing shoe. And when I put on my shoes, uh, I'm going somewhere. And nobody can stop me or I tread upon every plans of the adversary. Everybody say, put on your shoes and tread upon them. Uh, yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no. Can I talk to the church here today? Somebody praise God. We're going somewhere. I don't know about you. This ministry is going somewhere. And we can't stop. Your life is going somewhere. And the devil in hell cannot stop you for the rest of the year. Into next year. You're going to get where God wants you to go. You're not declaring it. You can say, I'm going to get there. One way or another. I know God is going to get me. Where is your confidence? Somebody praise God in this church. So don't expect to hear from God if you are determined to remain frozen in the same spot. You ain't going to hear from God if you are not prepared to move. Lift your hands and belt up yourself. Put on your shoes. I feel something coming in this church. Somebody praise God. If you want to hear from God, you must be ready to move. Everybody lift your hands and say, I'm ready to move. I'm not frozen in a freezer. I feel like I'm going somewhere. When you start moving ahead, he confirmed the righteousness of your direction by giving you a sense of peace. Somebody holler peace. 
You know in your knower that you're on the right track. When you don't have peace about it, seek God for direction. If there's some things that you don't understand, because every now and then some things happen within your life, you're saying, God, what's happening here? I don't understand what I'm going through this. I don't understand why I'm going this direction. But if you seek and ask God for clarity, he will open your eyes and let you know whether you are on the right path or the wrong path. And if he says you're on the wrong path, then you've got to stop and ask him for the right direction. If he says you're on the right path, then it's forward still. It's Jehovah. Feel like preaching in this church. Somebody give God a praise. Lift your hand and give him a praise. Shout hallelujah. Lift your hand and say, God, I want to know if I'm on the right path. I want to know if I'm in the right place because I'm not here to sit around and be frozen. I'm here to press on to reach the mark, to win the prize of the higher calling. I'm not prepared to give up right now. I've come too far to turn around. Can somebody give God the praise? Everybody lift your hand and say, I'm armed for this battle. It's a spiritual warfare that I'm fighting. But at the end of the battle, I will still be standing firm. Lift your hand and praise God here. Lift your hand and give him a praise. Uh, I need direction. This is particularly important. If you're self-started, who loves what you do. I don't know about you, but nobody can stop me from preaching because I love preaching. Nobody can stop me from singing because I love singing. Nobody can stop me from giving because I love giving. If you love what you do, you will continue doing what you're doing. But if you don't like it, you want to quit it. But I don't know about you, but I love serving God. And so I can't quit now because I love what I do. There's some people don't love church. They don't go to church. But some of us don't just go to church. We love love church because we love our salvation so when church door open we are day upon time and every time it open we don't want to miss a service because we love church we love God we love life we don't love funeral that's why breakthrough ministry can never have a funeral on a Sunday because it's a day of worship not a day to bury dead so if some of you plan for dead, uh, tell your family member, if a Sunday funeral they want, uh, they have to go to Adventist. We did one, you know. Somebody praise God. Lift and I give him a praise because my house must be a house of prayer. And I feel something here a house of praise and worship, a house of deliverance where we lay hand on the sick and they shall recover. A house where the anointing, a house where we fight battle. When we come to break through, we learn warfare. So when we don't have a workplace and don't have a yard, if the devil think him bad, cross the border, remind them where you worship. You're going to tell them which church you go. Tell them who is your commander. And see if they're not afraid of me like puss. I feel like preaching here. Lift your hand and praise God. When the battle gets hot, they call for Joshua. And Joshua called for God. And God sent reinforcement. When your battle gets hot, call for breakthrough. And breakthrough call for God. And God be your can I preach it like I'm in only two? Let me let me let me go a little deeper. Can I teach? Lithian is a neighbor. After the battle, you will still be standing firm. 
because you're armed and dangerous in the spiritual warfare. Uh, let me tell you. So let's look at the next three pieces of spiritual armor here uh, that God has provided for us to live victorious. Anybody ready to live victorious? Uh, Lift and touch your neighbor. If you're a loser, I'm not a loser. I'm in it to win it. I'm in it to win it. You will need faith as your shield. Everybody hold of faith. Now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. Uh, it is the evidence of the things not seen. For what? to stop the, the uh, firing arrow aimed at you by Satan. Do you remember in the old western movies uh, the battle between Native American Indians and the settlers. The settlers circle the wagons uh, and the Indians shoot uh, flaming arrows uh, into them. Uh, they both understood uh, uh, that you can't fight fire uh, and fire for at the same time. Flaming arrows are a distraction. Satan used the same tactic, but faith focus on God's word. Lift your hand and praise him here. So we don't watch the firing arrows and the flaming arrows that's coming after us. Because the faith that we have in God, he will send the wind to out the fire so we can defeat Somebody say, help us, Lord. Uh, I got faith. Faith focuses on God. Sniffing out their flaming arrows and giving us victory in the jaws of defeat. And then I hear number two here. He said, put on salvation as your helmet. Somebody said, put it on. In this day and age, you better wrap up, tied up, and tangled up in God. You better have salvation in your reach, somebody. Because if you don't have salvation, you might backslide in this time. Because if you follow all oh, some people wicked, all oh, some people cruel, all oh, some people mean, treacherous and dangerous, you feel like you can't wait from God, and you just want to get something and deal with them. But you got to put on that helmet and guard your eyes. Eyes, guard your ears, guard your mind, guard what you say, guard what you see. Can I preach to somebody? Lithiana said, My head is anointed. Not only is my head anointed, but it is protected. Somebody praise God. So if you fire at me, my helmet of salvation, it is my protection to guard my mind. With you as a neighbor, I know it's hard. I know it's rough. But don't lose your mind in what the enemies are trying to do to you. Keep your mind focused on the living God. Don't be this child. Be discouraged. Keep your mind stayed on God. Somebody give him a praise here. Lift your as a neighbor. I know it's dangerous. I know it's rough. But don't lose your mind. Put on the helmet of salvation. Give God a praise here. This helmet protects your mind ah, from the flaming arrows. When Satan whispers, if you weren't really a Christian, you wouldn't have your rebel is attacked by knowing you identify in Christ. If you I don't know about your neighbor, touch your neighbor, say, I'm blood washed, I'm blood bought, I'm fully covered, I'm fully paid for. So tell the devil, no weapon formed. Can I preach it like I feel it? And every tongue rise up. They shout. 
I feel like preaching here. Ruthian and said, Devil, you can't get me. Somebody got me. He paid for me with his blood. So, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will not fear. I was paid for. I'm not for sale. High five your neighbor and say, Thank you, Jesus. I'm not for sale. I'm paid for. Blood bought. We don't want a pigeon. We don't want a fowl. We don't want a puss and goat. The blood of Jesus ransomed me. He paid the price and set me everywhere I go. I want the world to know the blood. God. Somebody look from the name of Jesus. Look like some of you are not ready for this yet. If you're standing on the solid rock and you know the power that you got, then Satan can't prevail. You're not giving him any praise. Somebody lift up Jesus here. Somebody praise God. For God is my refuge. I feel like winning a battle here. And strength my very present help in time of trouble he will not suffer my foot to be feel like preaching somebody praise him up in here give God the glory give him a praise the Lord is still my life come on you're in the body you're not using the word use up the word here the Lord is my life and my feel like who shall I fear the Lord is the strength of mine when the wicked even my enemies and my foes came upon me to eat up my kutarada they will feel God here. Somebody not praise me yet. They will. They will. They will. I feel the Holy Ghost. Can I preach it up in here? Can I preach? Somebody praise God. Fret not thyself because of evil doers. God, they soon. I'm standing on the word. The battle is not over. You're still in it. And you're still going to win it. I know you're down. But you're not out. Stand on the word. Defend the faith. Lift your God bless hand. Give him a glory. Give him a praise. Shout. Feel the Holy Ghost. Lift you and praise God. Lift you and praise God. Lift you and praise God. Lift you and give him praise. The helmet protect your mind. If you were really a Christian, come on, somebody talk to you here. I'm not bound. I am loose. Give God the glory. Ah, I'm blood bought, totally forgiven. Hallelujah. See righteous. I'm heaven bound. I'm a child of God. You're not talking to me. Lift your as a neighbor. I'm blood bought, totally forgiven. Seemingly righteous. Heaven bound. I'm a child of God. Fuck off, devil. Feel your glory. Give him a praise here. Give him a praise. Shout hallelujah. And the third weapon that makes it six. Take the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. Lift your hands to the word. Are you ready for the word? The word of God refers to here. It is a logos, the written word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
for the rima, which mean utterance. It calls for speaking God's words to defeat Satan. With your and bumps your neighbor. So you have any word in your mouth? It is as sharp as any sword. Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against God. Lift up the word. Loose the logos. Fire the word. Shoot the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody give him a praise. I'm almost there. Somebody praise God here. Yeah. Praise God. Praise God, no man. Praise God, no man. Praise God, no man. Praise him. When you utilize the right scripture at the right time to deal with the problem. That's when Satan is defeated. That's why Satan fights you so hard over the Bible reading. That's why people are stopped from Bible study and prayer meeting because the devil know anyhow. You'll get strong in the word. You're going to be a vicious fighter and a dangerous warrior. That's why I'm stopped enough for you from Bible study and prayer meeting. And you're not see it important to come. That's why you suffice me and Jenny back and the devil can knock you down. But when you're powered up in the word and you're charged up in the word and when you unleash the word then Satan have to back up and back off. Somebody give the Lord a mighty praise. Shout hallelujah here. There are three times he attacked Jesus in the wilderness. And three times Jesus answered, it is written. I wonder if some of you are getting ready to be challenged. And it is a word that you're going to have to use. Because the Satan and the devils know the word. But if you don't know it, down down your supper. Can I talk to somebody here? If you don't have the word, to cut sharp. I'm sorry for you. He used it is written. And he, he, he demolished Satan with the scripture. The devil can utter, uh, uh, utter you, you down and try to tear you up. But he has no defense against the word of God. So memorize those scriptures and use them as a weapon. To defeat Satan. Somebody praise God. Somebody praise God. And finally, he said in the chapter, you must pray in the spirit all time and on every occasion. Your spiritual armor must be put on correctly so that all the pieces fit. Otherwise, you're vulnerable to defeat by Satan's hand. Oh, you don't hear what I just said. You got to fit on and put on everything correctly or you're in trouble. So how do you do this? Paul tells us how. Pray in all, in the spirit, in all times. Your clothes closet is where you find what you need to wear in the natural realm, right? Huh? When you want something to wear this morning, you check your clothes closet and you're searching for matching things and you say, I'm going to wear this. You say, no, I don't think I want to wear that. I'm going to wear that. No. And you search until you find the best thing. You say, that's what I'm going to wear. If it's not iron, you're hiring it. You prepare it. Huh? Hallelujah. Am I talking to the church here? Somebody praise God. In the spiritual realm, your prior closet is where you find what you need to wear in the spiritual realm. You're not talking to the church. Somebody praise God. And only through prayer do you become clothed for spiritual warfare. So don't go into battle undress. Let me say it again. Don't go to battle undress. I'm going to say something bigger than that. Don't wear other people's clothes to fight your own battle. Uh -uh. Don't use other people's weapon 
to fight your battle. Because what others can use to win their battle, it might not be a good thing to fight and win your battle. You're not praising God up in this church. Can I talk to the church here? Give God a praise. Give God a praise here. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Rulers of this dark world. Can I talk to you? But we don't rage war like they do. Because we know we're in a spiritual battle. Amen. Amen, somebody. And, 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 and not because you're not in no order. We don't know them orders. For them people who are bail, they fight battles in order. According to whatever order they're in. But a one order we under. And that is Jesus' order. A one order. And that is the Holy Ghost order. And when we get ready to fight, he said, I give you power. Feel the Holy Ghost. Lift your hand and praise God. Touch your neighbor, say you're ready to fight. Make sure you're powered up by the blood of Jesus. Somebody open your mouth and get ready. I feel like warfaring in this church. I feel like lifting up. I'm closing in here. But lift your as a neighbor. Put on the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness. Arm up yourself with the shield of faith. Put on the helmet of salvation. Lift your faith and declare after the battle, I will be standing firm. I don't know about you. But I shall not die, but live. I'm going to say it again. I shall not die, but live and declare the word of the Lord. Shout hallelujah here. No weapon form against me. No demons, no devil in hell. Kill them, Jah. Lick them, Jah. Visit them. Cleave their tongue. Up in their head. Drop the hand. Lick out the teeth. Slide them. Holy Ghost. If they dig a pit for my life. Somebody akasa. Let them fall in their own pit. Below them away like the chaff which the wind drive it away drive them out confuse them somebody lose me here bury them wreck them shipwreck them send them a dove cut send them a hook land send them a made arrest somebody not helping me reverse the curse break the spell this warfare it's going one way. I cannot lose because I'm the winner, not the loser. You are the head and not the tail. You are the first. Look at Baba. The weapons of our warfare. They're not carnal, but they're mighty through God for the pulling down of stronghold. Somebody said, Pull them down, no matter who they are. If I go like that, shoot them down. If I hear it, tear them down. If I fear up, drown them down. If I Jezebel, throw them down. Somebody. In the name of Jesus, we're going to terrorize them. Somebody said terrorize them. Somebody said don't be afraid. Fire back at them. Open your God bless mouth. Send back the horror. Send back the dart. Fire back your shot. Oh, Kutura Masai. Randa Katoria. Ramasakata. Ramasakata. 
Somebody shoot. Somebody shoot. Somebody shoot. Somebody shoot. Pop, 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 pop. Shoot them down from ambush. Can I tell you something? Don't be afraid. But there are more that are with us than they who are against us. Fire at will. You have freedom to fire. Lego your launcher. Lego your rocket. Lego your grenade. Lakuraba. Rakantalaba. Come on, we are warriors. We are warriors. When the battle is over, you will be still standing. You shall be standing. You can't give up now. You come too far. You can't let go now. Fight! 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 Good fight of faith. Leg of your shot. Rocking at them. Rip them apart. Bulldoze at them. Let them know God is my rock. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. If God be for us, then who can be against us? If God be for us, who? Lift up Jesus. Lift up Jesus. Lift up God. Give God a praise. Celebrate the Lord. Give him glory. War. War fear. Come on, somebody. I don't care who them. I could have family relative, friend or neighbor. You know what I preach? When a war time is war time. Can I preach help? There's a time and a place for everything under the sun. And I come to tell you, it's war time. Fight for your life. Fight for your family. Fight for your children. Fight for your health. Fight for your breakthrough. Fight for your deliverance. Fight for your healing. Fight! 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 lose. God have your back. I feel like preaching. Michael and Gabriel come with the sword. Cut and clear. Cut and Stand firm, stand firm with your grounded and girded by the power of God. Shoot! Stand firm, stand firm, stand firm, brother. Stand firm, 
Don't give up the fight. You can't lose. Hallelujah. Stand firm. Stand firm. Stand firm in your liberty. God have your back. God have your back. God have your back. Never. God have your back. You are covered. You are delivered. You are free. Word up. Why? You shall be still standing when the battle is over. You shall be the last man standing. Shout hallelujah. 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 forever. It has a start and it's got to have a finish. But when the battle is over, you shall be still standing. Can you live on that word this week? Because you're armed for spiritual warfare. And you have on your armor. And you have your weapon. And you're ready to fight. I'm not backing down. I'm not backing out. I'm not giving up. I'm not letting go. It's a fight to the finish. We pray and God delivers. Amen, somebody. Amen, somebody. Nobody can stop this thing. This movement cannot be stopped. No, who of them can't go on that side? They can't quench breakthrough. Too much fire burn. Too much holy ghost fire rip. Somebody jump up and turn and say, reverse the order. Something in here. I got my Maria. I'm with the Santa Maria. We need weapon. We got. I am my. I'm with the Santa Maria. We need weapon. We got me. Maria. Wake up, neighbor. I am a warrior. I'm a warrior. I am 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 a warr
I'm not always going to be there. You're going to face some battle. I will be nowhere to be found. But when you are a warrior and when you charge up on your land, you go through the rigorous training process. Then you're armed and dangerous. Lift on everybody. So when the dust settles and when this battle is over, I shall be still standing. <laughs> <laughs> you're declaring victory already. I said you are already declaring victory. I don't care what the enemy says. You are declaring victory already. In the name of Jesus. I'm getting out of here. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. We close. You know what? You know what? You know what? Mighty man of war. Lion of Judah. Lift your hands. We bow down and worship you. Give him some praise. Yahweh. Yahweh. Oh, come and do. Oh, what I love you. Mighty man of war. Mighty man of war. Lion of Judah. Lion of Judah. We bow down. We bow down. Yahweh, Yahweh, come and do, come and do, mighty man of war, mighty man of war, lion of the Jews. Say we bow down and worship you, Yahweh, Yahweh, come and do, come and do what only you can do. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. Give him the praise. Father, we thank you. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you, Lord, that you are God and you're able. As we go from this place, may your love, your peace, and your mercy rest upon us now. May your peace which passes all understanding keep our heart and mind in the love, the fear, and the knowledge of you, God. Bless us now in abundance and keep us free from harm and danger. Set us free by your faith and power. Deliver us from evil. For you are the kingdom, the power, and you are the glory. Have your divine way in and through us now, we pray. To the powerful, mighty name of Jesus, let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Yahweh! Come and do only you can do. We thank you now. We give you praise. We give you honor and we give you the glory. In Jesus' mighty and precious name. And the church shout hallelujah. <laughs> praise God. If you're not yet a member, you're not in fellowship, make sure to come to church. See missionary Jody join the believers class and be a part of this warfare church. We're going somewhere and if you're going, let's go together. Be a part of breakthrough. God will move you to a next level in Jesus' name. If you're ready, please see us, talk to us, and let's do this. We're going to have communion. Amen. For those who are not taking communion, remember, don't leave. We've got food refreshments on the downstairs. Amen. Praise God. You can visit there. And don't take and run, please. The fellowship a little bit, and let's celebrate our victory today in Jesus' name. All those who are in fellowship with the Lord, those who are in communion with God, make sure you come.
forward and participate in the Holy Communion. Oh, uh, I'm understanding there are people who want to make their contribution to the gathering. You weren't a part of a group, you're here, you're fellowshipping, you're not.